Today, AYL is on the water, but in a way that will change how you think about a day on the lake. Join Chad, Rhea, Darren, and Jill as they find out why the Aqua X Zone may be the perfect family activity for the end of summer. From there, come with me, Stephen Human, as I find out how many different ecosystems I can ride through in one ATV trip. Last but not least, Don Dunwell introduces us to one Southern Utah resident that went from the cubicle to the outdoors and is living his dream in the most amazing place on earth. Own the outdoors now with At Your Leisure. Doesn't that make you want to be out there? Getting wet on this hot summer's day. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we're at Jordan L State Park. And we are looking at the newest water adventure out here. That's true, it's brand new this year. It's kind of like, I don't, I don't, it kind of looks like a kingdom, doesn't yeah. it? A floating kingdom where kids are king. Or grown-ups who still think their kids are king. And you know, actually this kingdom has a name. It's called the Aqua Zone. And we also have Darren and Jill Kinder with us and some fans from Japan. So we're going to have some fun today. Jordan L was the first of a new generation of parks built here in Utah that had a lot of extra funding and planned for recreation right from the beginning. So they got a lot of infrastructure that makes us really a great vacation destination, not just a waypoint. It's not an afterthought at this park. Let's take a closer look at the park. <music> Jordanelle is one of the top state parks in Utah. Um, we have um, five campgrounds, five RV campgrounds, two tent campgrounds, one of them being one that you have to hike into, so that's for the, the more active folks, if you will. Uh, we have an aqua zone that's out down here on the water that just was recently put in for the kids, oh, and it's for adults too. We have a beautiful public beach area with a playground and um, cabana facilities on the beach that you can rent. We have a hiking trail that goes around, almost around the entire perimeter of the lake. It's called the Perimeter Trail. There is uh, paddleboard rentals, and then there is kayaks, and then they also have boat and uh, jet ski rentals, and then you also are able to rent time out on the, uh, the aqua zone, which is our Wibbit area. Oh, I love the scenery, I love the views, I love the water. I've been a, a boater and a camper my whole life and love this environment. The people are great, it, it, just everything, everything about Jordanell. The beautiful mountains we have, the reservoir itself, our beaches, our lawns, everything, it's just so well maintained. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. I, I think it's great for people to come out here and experience the outdoors and to be outside and play and be active and that's just a lot of fun. I think that's good for everyone to do. If you could look at this park from when it first was getting underway, right after they'd built the dam, they'd been pulling the water in for a year, uh, it was a spectacular sight and actually we got to be some of the first, we were in the first five boats that ever went out on this water and uh, we captured it all back in the old Boat World Archive days. It was fun. I'm so envious, what fun. Well, right now we're gonna go to our travel adventure with Steve Human, and he is riding ATVs just outside of Cedar City, Utah. Hey everybody, Steve Human here, and I am out on another adventure today, and I'm bringing you along with me. Today for our travel adventure, we're gonna be looking closely at two colors, red, and green. Now there's not a lot of places where you can find both of those colors in abundance, but where I am today, that's exactly what you're going to find, as you can see looking around me. We're heading out by ATV and UTV. We're hitting the trail. I want you to join me. My first impression of our ride today started out like this, green. Pastoral meadows that bring a strange calm to your mind. This was going to be a peaceful run through the forest. Quickly, however, that notion took a left turn. We did a ride down through Second Left Hand Canyon from Perwood Canyon. It's a great ride down through some red rocks. Crick on the side, a lot of water, green, red, white ledges, you know, just everything. Well, we came up uh, to uh, Yankee Meadows here at the lake, at the reservoir. 
and we went and hit trail number one to 14 and took second left hand canyon on around beautiful red rocks greenery saw a deer today second left hand canyon begins in the pine forest southeast of parowan which is right on i-15 this entire area is an incredible feast for anyone in search of unique landscapes Places like Cedar Breaks nearby are more well known, but the things you discover here on an ATV ride are every bit as inspiring. Environments change quickly, like nature just decided to try on something new. And as you move down the canyon, every corner offers a surprise. Side trails are plentiful and have more challenges if that's what you're in the mood for, but the main route is well-traveled and easily passable. It's become a prime destination for mountain bikers as well since the train is so diverse. Different trailheads branch off for the two-wheel set and then converge on the broader path at several intervals. So remember to watch out for mountain bikers if you're riding your quad through the canyon. The entire mountain has become very bike friendly with nearby Brian Head offering lift tickets for explorers looking to get a quick trip to the top and then downhill the rest of the way. It's a great opportunity to experience some speed in these lush hills. For riders like David McIntyre and Connie Wiggins, these day trips are just a part of life. David works at local retailer Triple S Polaris and has his pick of trails and machines for any day of the week. As president of the Cedar City Trailblazers Club, Connie actually leads newcomers to this area for their first foray into Cedar City adventure. This is their backyard and they appreciate every sunrise over these mountains. It's like living in heaven. I wouldn't live anywhere else. I love the area, the weather, getting out every day and you can go riding. I like being out. I like the company when you go with somebody, you know, especially when you can meet new people, uh, seeing new areas or taking new people to areas you've been before to show them what you've seen and just being outside. Many of the riders with us today are members of the Trailblazer Club and have never explored Second Left Hand Canyon before. That's one of the best parts about joining an ATV club. Even if you live in an area for years, there are still hidden gems that you'll never find unless you have someone leading the way. Club leaders become more than just guides as you find fresh vistas on your road to discovery. You know, we're more than just a club, we're friends. And those friends bring in more friends. And we just have a great time. I may have started off today's ride with a certain impression of what I was going to find. And of course, that was completely off. But that's how so many adventures turn out. You never could have guessed how the trip was to end. That's why the outdoors is such a powerful place for families, parents, and children looking to find something new. Now, not just an overlook or a twisty trail, but a new way of making first impressions with your family members that will strengthen your bonds for years to come. Whether it be side by side, just four wheelers, you know, even a boat, they're going out and they're spending time together. And as a parent, you get to hear what they're talking about. You get to meet their friends. You just get to spend a lot of really good quality time with, with your kids and you can't put a price on it. You really can't put a price on that. And there you have it, Second Left Hand Canyon. This is an amazing area and the great thing about it, the thing that I like the most, is the fact that within five minutes you pass through like three different ecosystems, all of which are completely different one from the next. And then you can head up on the hills over here, you can hook up with Brian Head, and you can even rent machines from Brian Head. You can come down here, you can ride these trails. So it's really easy to come down here and have an adventure. Well, I'm Stephen Human. If you want to find out more about this or any of our other adventures, go to AYLTV.com. Right now, we need to take a commercial break, and we'll be back with more at your leisure. They're here. Ranger XP-1000, the most powerful Ranger ever. General Four, the off-road's most popular new crossover. And Ride Command, connecting you like never before. See the best of 2017, or grab a great deal on remaining 2016s. Get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said except take your time.
in Bryce Canyon country. In 1946, Ray City started a business built on exploration and family. He made his customers a promise that they would always find a friend when they walked into a dealership with the name Ray City. Now, 70 years later, that promise is fulfilled every day. We're still all about exploration and family. 70 years is a long time, but we are just getting started. Come in and celebrate our huge anniversary sale. Ray City RV off Riverdale Road in Roy, serving your family since 1946. When the road takes you farther than you knew possible, when the world is more beautiful than you've ever seen, when home is more comfortable than it should be, this is when you know you're in Kane County. The perfect mix of rural and urban, culture and adventure. Glendale, Orderville, Kanab, Big Water, small towns with more to offer than just peace and quiet. Kane County, Utah. Find the new you. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, I'm Darren Kinder, and our product review today is the new Polaris Razor 1000 High Lifter. Now this machine is slightly different than the standard Razor 1000, being it comes with a lot of really cool features right from the factory, so let's take a look. Now up here in the front end, one of the first things you'll notice is that it has a ton of ground clearance. This is awesome for taking down the Moab, rock crawling, or whether you're out in some deep mud. And the way they accomplish that is they bring this A-arm, instead of coming down at an angle, they bring it straight across and then bend it down at an angle for the wheel. So you get really good ground clearance right in here. Now the other thing the high lifter comes standard with is this front push bar and a winch right from the factory. Now the inside of the machine is pretty standard. You got your four seats, your four doors, Everything's pretty much the same as a standard razor. Um, but what's really kind of unique is here in the back are these three snorkels. And these obviously are to keep the air intakes a lot higher and keep them out of the dirt so much. But they don't really get in the way of anything either. So, you know, I was always worried they were going to take out some of your storage space, but they really don't. Now, one of the things that you can really see on this machine are these, these bent up radius rods. And this gives you the maximum clearance back here to really be able to take it rock crawling without worried about getting snagged up on those. It comes coupled with these Walker Evan shocks, which makes the Razor 1000 one of the best handling machines that I've driven. Well, enough of talking about this machine. Let's take it out and see what she can do. thing is a whole lot of fun. I wish I could do that every day. Oh, wait a minute, I guess I can. Well, if you want to go out and ride one of these, get up to Weller Recreation in Camas, and they've got an absolute superstore of fun toys in there, and you can check them out. Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. It's inches off the ground. It's open air freedom. It's remarkably powerful. It's totally unique. It starts at 21,199. It's Slingshot, pure driving fun. What a great time to get out and ride the ATV and UTV. Summertime's here. However, some of the key things that one can do in order to prevent an accident or an injury on these is to know your machine. Sometimes when you're on an ATV, you have the ability to shift your weight and move around. On a UTV, you're somewhat restricted. Do a couple of things. Read your owner's manual, take an education course, and become familiar with your machine and start slowly. 
Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. I won! <laughs> Welcome back to Angu Legion. You gotta help Darren up. No, oh. he was gonna pull me in. <laughs> 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 I knew that was gonna happen. We are up here at Jordan L. We have had just a, a lot of fun. You know, things are happening so quick at this park. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, last year didn't look anything like this. Oh, I mean, we came up here when they first opened and we're water skied on it in the snow. This is a completely different park. There's great campgrounds and there's great parking and pavilions and all kinds of fun things to do up here. I know, it really is amazing. It's transformed. So, at the center of all the new stuff, if you haven't been up here since last year, you've got to come back up for this thing right here. Let's find out a little bit about it. Come on, let's go jump and bounce. Get ready for this! really wanted to bring a water sport cl um, close to Utah. We were from Miami and we really thought that Utah needed some sort of fun water sport activity since they're so good at skiing and snow activities. So we wanted to start something new and fresh here to keep the kids and family active. This is a great place for families. Um, people often ask me, is it more for kids or more for adults? And I actually think kids and adults love this equally. And as a family, everybody seems to have a blast and enjoy their day and it's worth the the time and the money spent, it's a really, really good activity. I'm number one! I feel like I'm in basic training in the movie Stripes. I don't know how I'm going to do on this. Go, Ringo! You almost got it! And there's Zach trying not to fall in the water. I cannot do this. It's too slippery. You put your feet in the hand Oh, I put all oh, the It's really a good workout, actually, because it's wobbly and so you have to use a lot of cover. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> as you can see, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can do if you come up here to Jordan L. If you haven't been here in five years, this is an entirely different experience with the new Mission State Park. So uh, slide on, my friend, or right on. jump on. Wait, let's jump off. Go! I had so much fun jumping off into the water. I forgot to talk about the trailhead. So let's take a look at it this this week, and remember, Rocky Mountain ATEMC sponsors every one of these. I live in one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I have a lot of fun. Most of us can't say that about our day-to-day -day grind. We get up, drive to work, go to bed, and repeat. Well, that's not the case for Kanab, Utah resident David Swindler. He has to drive to work just like the rest of us, but his commute is different every morning, taking him to some of the most interesting and remote areas of the Southwest. It wasn't always this way for David. He started out as a chemical engineer working in a cubicle. After 10 years of studying the reactions and interactions of elements, David realized there was more to life than just going to an office. Photography was always one of his great loves, and that helped set his new course. He moved to Kanab and started Action Photo Tours, where David began teaching visitors from all over the world how to take the most breathtaking photographs in some of the most jaw-dropping locales imaginable. People like pictures that they themselves take. They like to be able to frame that and put that on their wall. Some want to learn like night photography, some uh, just want to learn how to take a basic landscape shot. 
You know, so I'm always a challenge in a different way to try to explain things to them and try to help them, you know, coming from their own unique backgrounds. He's been showing me a lot more of the diff different things from different from portrait photography to more of the landscape and the kind of stuff he does on his tours. Every day, David drives along the dirt roads of Kane County, Utah, in search of the perfect backdrop for his touring photography students. He can go basically wherever he wants, in any direction that he wants, leading these tourists to overlooks, barren dunes, or slot canyons. When David was first thinking about starting his business, he wasn't really sure where to go. Once he came south, though, the cliffs and red rock spires spoke to him as they have to thousands of people through the years who were unable to leave this area once they arrived. This was home. The reason I picked Kanab is because it's central to everything. Now you got the Grand Canyon, you got Zion, you got Bryce, you got Grand Staircase Escalante, you got all the areas around the Vermilion Cliffs, you got Lake Powell, you got the whole gamut here within a reasonable driving distance. So I originally came to Kanab not knowing anyone here in town and I was pleasantly surprised when I came because all the people I've met have been very helpful, very accommodating. It's been easy to make new friends and I'm really falling in love with the place. Each click of the shutter helps David's students discover that same love as they capture moments and landscapes that defy description. He takes them to secret spots and shares historic tidbits all in an effort to inspire them to take that perfect shot. Every day, every moment is different. But like any photographer, David is interested in only the best shots, which require patience and timing. The only time I'm ever bored of going to those kind of places is when we just, just get a blue sky, sunny day with no variation. But so often we get very interesting clouds, we get monsoon storms, we get such different environmental conditions that it's that it's different every time. Most of us will continue with our day-to-day -day as we always have, but the invitation is there to leave the ordinary behind and set off on a new road. It may lead you to Kanab, Utah, or the dirt trails of Kane County. And like David, you'll find more here than what you leave behind. Half the clients I get are international. A lot of them tell me that our outing was like the highlight of their trip to this area or even to their whole trip to the USA. Sometimes I've even had clients enjoy the drive almost as much as the final destination. And wouldn't it be great if we could all say that about our commute? From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunmore. Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles and you'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website. Welcome to Castle Country. A land as diverse as its people and a rural area that relies on responsible use of the land. Here, you will find adventure at every turn. From mountain peaks to sun-swept deserts, Castle Country has it all. Dominate every trail. Conquer any task. You need a machine that does it all. Introducing Polaris General. The General is the most powerful rec utility side-by-side -side ever made. The industry's deepest cargo box lets you haul and dump up to 600 pounds, and the revolutionary cockpit totally refines comfort and protection. Polaris General, ultimate versatility to win every battle. Let's be honest, you don't know much about Beaver County. Well, let me tell you about it. It's the birthplace of outlaw Butch Cassidy and inventor Philo T. Farnsworth. Some of the best skiing in Utah is at Eagle Point. You've got camping, Canyon Breeze Golf Course, Crusher in the Tushers, Beaver Territorial Courthouse, Snowmobiling, Renewable Energy, Pioneer Car Show, Squeaky Cheese, Ghost Towns to Explore, Best Water in the Country, Paiute ATV Trails, Old Frisco Kills, Horse Races, Hunting, Fishing, and it's a good place to live. Beaver County, mountains of fun. I could tell you more, but why don't you come and see it for yourself?
Well, Chad, you know, this never gets not fun. <laughs> That's true. Welcome back to At Your Leisure here at Jordan L State Park. I think the list is in dozens of things you can do up here. Day use open all the time. Reminder though, if you're going to come up and bring your camper and camp in the full hookups campground they have here, little plug for something very cool, make sure you make reservations because they do get a little busy, especially on the weekends. Well, we're going to be really busy the next few weekends too, aren't we, Rhea? Oh my gosh, we got the Manti Mountain ATV Rally coming up. That is August 18th through the 20th. You want to check that out? That's always fun. That's true. Then at Bryce Canyon, we have down in Panguitch the Bryce Canyon ATV Rally. Now, they've been doing this for a number of years now, and they keep expanding it, new trails. That's a lot of fun, beautiful high mountain riding. Beautiful ride up there. One other event we'd like to tell you about is happening just next weekend, Saturday, August 20th, at the new Moto United location off I-15 in Draper. It's their giant open house, and they are going all out to make this a huge event. They'll have food trucks, bounce houses for the kids, monster trucks, money machine, an OHV test track, as well as great deals on all their machines and boats. This is a one-stop shop for outdoor adventure. Plus, the big surprise is that the Godfrey clan is going to be on hand to show their stuff. And if you arrive between noon and 2 p.m. with your ATV registration, one of the Godfreys will take you for a test ride on the track. Everyone is invited. August 20th for the Moto United Open House. And also, we want to congratulate our sticker winner this year, or not this year, but this week, Erin Kenny. She had stickers on her car, on her ATVs, on everything. And Erin, you won a big Camp Chef stove. Congratulations. Yeah, I hear Erin actually has AYL stickers on her pajamas, but I'm not sure. She didn't send a picture of that. Anyway, congratulations, Erin. Now, what lucky thing do you get right now? You win a look at next week's show. History and discovery are the focus in one week as Reese Stein visits Shiloh and walks through this reminder of our Civil War past. Then we'll return to the West as Darren and Jill find out how many different trail rides they can take in one day from the same starting point. It'll be a record-breaking morning, and it's all here in one week on AYL. Thank you for what? <laughs> it's a, that's a Japanese prayer for your for your lunch or your dinner. Oh, yeah, I thought it was before. a prayer that it next week. Like eat the doggy mess, but that's <laughs> not it. <laughs> anyway, next week's show looks like it's going to be a ton of fun, and this place is a ton of fun. Now, the question is, did you kids have fun? Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. Very good. Well, we will look for you. Make sure that your family takes time. If you're anywhere in Utah, whether you live here or visiting here, plan at least a day to come up and try all this stuff at Jordan. Now, it's been a blast. And remember, there's adventure around every bend. So get out and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Let alone all the other stuff there was to do. And remember, oh crap. <laughs> we gotta wait for the cue. <laughs> this is not safe for cameramen. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.